the scrubber at the Dry Fork Station is unique. This is the largest reflux circulating fluid bed scrubber in, in America, volume-wise. There are smaller power plants that use a similar scrubber, but the one at Dry Fork Station is much bigger. It's a design by Graf Wolf, a company based in Germany. Our permits for this project are pretty stringent, and they were able to prove when we were negotiating with them or during the design phase that they can meet our, our permit levels. Not only has the scrubber been proven to meet very strict air permits, it does it with less water than the scrubbers at most power plants. You look around Gillette, you notice we're not a water-rich area. And so any time that we can reduce that water use um, is a huge plus for us. The same reason we use an air-cooled condenser instead of a conventional condenser. Nolan Bray and Jim Lund are Basin Electric engineers in charge of getting the scrubber up and running. Graf Wolf has been here the whole time to walk us through this process and I feel very confident this scrubber will perform just like they said it's going to perform. This is how the scrubber works. We take the flue gas coming from the boiler in two streams, it combines into the bottom of the absorber vessel, it goes through seven venturi nozzles which straighten out the flow. After it enters the venturi it actually accelerates and the acceleration is due um, primarily because we want to establish the circulating fluidized bed of lime and ash. The bed of lime and ash isn't a solid mass at the bottom of the scrubber. It's a floating mass of lime and ash, and it works sort of like a filter. We accelerate that flue gas so that it has enough oomph to keep this bed floating. The scrubber is 200 feet tall. The bed is between 50 to 70 feet tall. The whole idea of the bed is it gives it a, it gives it a place for the reaction to happen. The bed is where the sulfur dioxide is captured. It's the calcium in the lime that captures the sulfur. More fluidized lime is added when needed. We add just enough water to, to increase the surface area of the calcium for improved sulfur capture, but it's still a, a, dry, a drier product. The gas moves from the scrubber to the bag house, where 15,500 bags capture ash, drop it into hoppers, and then route the ash back to the scrubber where it can be used in the bed again. The system must work flawlessly before any coal is burned at Dry Fork Station. The milestone that we're looking for is to be able to establish a bed, have it operate at that set point, so that we can say, let's introduce coal, let's introduce flue gas, because we know that we can handle that. At Dry Fork Station with producer Greg Wheeler, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.